knew it was a matter of time, but the first UFC fighter who was injured in Conor McGregor's Barkley's bus attack has sued the Irish superstar. Seems he broke the story. Here's the deal. The guy is Michael Chiesa. Chiesa was supposed to fight at that UFC 223 card against Anthony Pettis a few days after the attack. But when Conor McGregor picked up that steel dolly and threw it through the window, he got glass all over him. It cut him in the face. There's a very famous shot of him bleeding from his head. He was pulled off the card. He said he couldn't compete. He says he's been emotionally scarred, and now he has sued Conor McGregor. He says he suffered severe emotional distress, mental trauma, and or bodily harm. And he and other fighters have talked about how the attack was traumatic for them. Rose Namajunas and Ray Borg, they were also injured, and Rose Namajunas has been very vocal about the fact that she has a hard time going out, she can't sleep at night, she has nightmares and flashbacks. Now, Michael Chiesa didn't say that in his specific lawsuit, but he's clearly affected by the incident. He has not said specifically how much money he's looking for, but you can bet it's a lot because he's looking for lost wages. And you know his check from UFC 223 was going to be a, a big one, and he's saying, who knows what can happen from there? I could have made more money down the line. The exposure from that fight could have propelled me to the next level. And the judge can take that all into consideration when ultimately deciding how much Conor McGregor is going to have to pay. Now, he is probably going to have to pay due to the fact that he's already pled guilty to misdemeanor disorderly conduct. Remember, he was arrested after the attack where he and his buddies threw that handcart at the bus. He was initially charged with a felony and three misdemeanors, but he pled that down. So he barely spent any time in jail. All he's got to do is like some community service and stuff like that. But pleading guilty to misdemeanor disorderly conduct it is, a, is an acknowledgement of fault, which will also factor in in this lawsuit. Now, like I said, Kiesa is the first one to sue, but he will not be the only one. It is almost a certainty that Rose Namajunas, uh, Ray Borg, and other people who were injured on the bus will also sue Conor McGregor. That dude is worth so much money. He had that $100 million fight against Floyd Mayweather. This upcoming fight against Khabib Nurmagomedov is going to make a huge amount of money for him. Uh, and so I'm assuming that everyone who's suing him is gonna want a piece of that.